I got into that not because I had any great social feelings about such matters. I, they talked about cartoonists, animators' rights, and I didn't realize, in my book, animators didn't have any rights, so how they could defend what they didn't have. And, uh, but anyway, I guess because I was cute, why well, I was voted into the committee when the cartoon unit first started, in the committee to go down and, and mind you, we had to go downtown to meet with Leon Schlesinger's law, uh, attorneys. Uh, they could order us to go downtown. We didn't know how to say no. So I was trying to cling to the girls' skirts so that maybe they would understand that I was there to you know, cling to girls' skirts and not there the skirts not to, to do anything uh, appropriate and help them out. So I, uh, I followed them downtown and went to this big office and, and this uh, attorney came out and he came out and, he, and we were all clustered around you know like this. He came out and he slammed his hand down on the desk and he said, one thing I want to make eminently clear, Mr. Schlesinger is not running an alienary institution. All of a sudden, I became a, a violent defender of the right of animators. So I leave forward, slam my hand on the desk and says, what the hell does that word mean? And there was no deep social understanding. All I said, the son of a bitch was using a word that I didn't understand. And I've, I've loved words always. And to, I knew what he was doing. And I turned to the people behind him. You know, I, I'm, a now, I'm now out in front, right? And I turned to them and says, this, this son of a bitch is trying to use something. That he's trying to reduce us to moccasins. And, uh, and I said, what do, you, well, what do you mean by that word? What does it mean? And he looked at it gently. He said, it means a, a, a social, sociological, anyway, a, a charitable organization. That's what Mr. I said, well, why the damn hell didn't you say it? Why did you say Ilya Mossner, or whatever that word is? How dare you use a word? We're supposed to be here talking together to try to solve a problem. And so, and now, you know, and I, then I went back, and I knew I was going to be fired, you know. So uh, I went back, and... Uh, and uh, Leon Schlesinger called me down to the office immediately. And you get surprised, you know, once in a while you get surprises. So he, I came into the room ready to be fired. And he said, I want to apologize for his behavior because he said he, he you know, he, he didn't understand that we were trying to work this out together and so on. So I could have fainted. I, know I was fainted with fear. And, uh, but anyway, so that's how I became a fearless labor leader and became vice president of this union <laughs> and read, led the strike and, at Leon Schlesinger's, which happened a little later, but I less than a week, because by that time Leon realized he was losing money. <laughs> and the, what we were asking for was something like, instead of paying the girls uh, 20 cents an hour, we have to pay them 50 cents an hour, something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's why we, uh, that's how I got to be a labor leader. And I was a director, yeah. and, and, and nobody suggested that, that the, the, the contract they had didn't even mention directors. Yeah. And for years we weren't represented by anybody. I don't think we're now represented by anybody. Maybe the I mean, the screen uh, directors recently tried to organize the guys, but, but they couldn't do that even today. And uh, that's a pity because they're the only group in Hollywood, as far as I know, they're not represented by somebody. Mm. And I've always been furious with these people that say that they try to fight big unions. Mm -hmm. What the hell is, what do you, if, you're a big, if you're a big business, what are you supposed to fight? Little unions? Of course, that's what they want.